Hello everyone, I'm Marcus, and as you know, I review things. Uh, today I'm going to review the song, On This Rock I Will Build My Church, by the band uh, Lord of the Lost. This was a recommendation from one of you, um, said that they are a German band, uh, and you requested that I do either this song or another one, so I chose this one. Uh, so, kind of interested to see what this song's all about. Um, I know nothing of this band. Just kind of judging from what I see here on the on the album art, I'm guessing it's a heavy metal band just because of the imagery that that's there. So um, let's give it a listen. This is, uh, like I said, On This Rock I Will Build My Church by Lord of the Lost. If you would like to request songs for me to listen to as well, just drop a comment or, you know, at me on Twitter or something. I don't know, whatever works. Twitter is in, my Twitter is in the... Uh, in the description so just shout me out somehow and I'll, I'll make sure to review your song I'm, I've pretty much taken every request that um, I it's been thrown my way so far so I'll keep doing that um, anyway like I said here's the song on this rock I will build my church on this rock I will build my church on this rock
yeah, that was that was good. That was good. That took me by surprise. I honestly was not sure what to expect. So uh, that was good, though. I really enjoyed that. Uh, someone who kind of likes heavy metal, that was kind of that was right up my alley, honestly. Um, so let's talk about it. There's a lot of things that I really like about this song. Let's start with the lyrics. I think they're pretty interesting. So it starts with, on this rock I will build my church, and it repeats that a few times, and then it says, on this rock I will kill my hurt. So apparently, as I was looking up the lyrics for this song, uh, the first thing that came up was actually a Bible verse. So apparently this is, I guess that's a line taken from the Bible. Uh, this makes sense because it is, I mean, the band's called Lord of the Lost. So I wonder if this is a religious band. I, I had the feeling that probably no, just because of the iconography there on the on the um album art or if it's uh yeah I, I don't know i'm interested to see the official music video so there was an official music video for it. I'm kind of interested to see that and see um if that maybe gives me a little bit more insight uh anyway and then i i i hear the thunder calling the law is carved in stone all hopes and dreams and ardor nailed to a golden throne my feet are sore and burning, I'm coming from afar, a million years divided but still we're made of stars. That's pretty That's pretty interesting writing, very poetic. It does continue to kind of conjure up some of that biblical imagery. So like the law is carved in stone, Ten Commandments, I'm assuming that's what it means. Um, and so I, I think it's it's still, I, I'm still not sure, like is it, are they a religious band? You know, I'm, I'm not sure yet, so I want to keep reading the lyrics again. We are still waiting while we're all fading. We are destroying what we're creating. Oh, on this rock, on this rock, I will build my church. On this rock, I will kill my hurt. Uh, through all these years of crawling, I've grown an iron heart. Though all these times are falling, I've made rebirth my art. Here in this, my own shelter, I've borne each heavy stone. Compound the missing pieces. It's done. I am home. That's interesting. Um, the the lyrics I feel are very kind of poetic, but I am not sure what they're talking about. One, I don't know enough about really any religion to really uh, know what I'm talking about here. And two, I don't know if enough about this band to know if they are uh, speaking, I guess, tongue in cheek, or if they are actually wanting to conjure up religious. Um, symbolism and if they are a religious band so I, I wish I knew more about either of these things um, so then it goes on again we are still waiting while we're all fading we are destroying what we're creating on this rock I will build my church on this rock I will kill my hurt uh, we are still waiting while we're all fading so it repeats that and it repeats the co chorus and then on this rock we are still waiting yeah it basically just repeats it a few more times um, lyrically it's really interesting uh, I, I kind of like it I mean, I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about, but I like that the lyrics are poetic. I like that the lyrics are kind of well-written and make me think and make me stop and wonder, okay, what are they talking about? What, what is the uh, artist trying to get across here? So for that reason I, alone, I give, I give the lyrics a thumbs up. The thing, only thing that's stopping me from giving it two thumbs up is that I have no idea what the song could be about. My one guess and I don't. I feel like I go to this all the time, but my one guess is maybe drugs, just because. Um, let me pull up that line again. Um, that really uh, made me stop and think that could be it. Um, where was it? Through all these years of crawling, I've grown an iron heart. Through all these times of falling, I've made rebirth my art. Here in this my own shelter, I've borne each heavy stone. Compound the missing pieces. It's done. I am home. To me, and then while we are, while we are still waiting, while we're all fading, we're just destroying what we're creating. So I think it's sort of about how certain things, maybe drugs, can destroy your life. I, I don't know. That's that's a really big reach for me. I, I don't feel comfortable saying that that for sure is like the meaning. That's just a, a totally stab in the dark. But. Um, Either way, I, I, yeah, that's the only thing that prevents me from giving it two thumbs up on the lyrics is that I really don't know what the song's about, so I'm sticking with one thumb. Um, lyrically and vocally, vocally, I was not expecting him to sound like that. And so, like, you know, at the beginning, when he was screaming, I was like, okay, you know, metal song, he screams like a, like a regular metal singer would, right? That makes sense. But then when it got into, like, the actual song, 
and he actually started singing, and I was like, whoa, that was not what I was expecting. He reminds me a lot of the lead singer of Camelot. He could very well be the lead singer of Camelot. I don't know anything about this band, uh, but he really kind of, his voice reminded me of that, of that singer. Um, but I really liked, uh, and then as far as like the screaming went, he kind of reminded me of the guy from um, In Flames. It, like there's a little bit of I think he borrows from a lot of different styles here which I really liked I liked the screaming parts I liked the singing parts I really enjoyed his voice and uh, I like that he kind of mixed it up you know um, the singing in the first part of the song the screaming is different from his singing and then I think he also changed it up a little bit uh, even more so a couple times in the song so really enjoyed the vocals um, instrumentally, I like the progressive elements that are that are happening here. I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it's a heavy song, which I really enjoyed. But I also really enjoyed um, kind of the, the techno vibe that it gave you a little bit of times, the synthesizers that they used. I really enjoyed that, I guess, progressive metal aspect of it. I think it was, it was very well done, and it came across as not being cheesy. I, I felt like it was pretty natural for the song that they were... That they were making so honestly instrumentally and vocally i gotta give it two thumbs up i really enjoyed um listening to it as always i really enjoy guitar solos but there was none here um but even so i feel like it, there was enough for me to grasp onto so yeah two thumbs up for sure uh, as far as listenability goes i think this has maybe more of a niche audience i feel like progressive metal in general has kind of a niche audience um and then not to mention maybe a I don't know if I can classify this band as a German progressive metal band, but to to be progressive metal and to be also like a foreign band, I think um, that might sweep this one under the rug for a lot of people because I can tell you honestly, I've never heard of this band, never heard of this song until uh, one of my viewers requested it. So I think um, that maybe makes the listenability suffer a little bit. That might turn a lot of people off to it. But at the same time, I thought it was a very enjoyable song. I really enjoyed what they did with it. So I'm not going to penalize it just because other people might not totally like it. I'm going to give it like one and a half thumbs up. I, I think um, to me it was an easy, easy song to ex ex access just because I really enjoy metal. And I'm starting to really enjoy progressive metal. So um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was a nice listen. And hopefully you did too. Because I, I think this is, I want, I want to hear more from this band. I want to see what else they've done. So um, anyway, that's the review. I really enjoyed the song. Thank you for recommending. If anyone else wants to uh, recommend songs, I will be listening. Don't worry, I've seen uh, a lot of your comments where people have recommended. I'm getting to them slowly but surely. Um, thank you for recommending because it saves me time of having to think of what I want to listen to or what I want to uh, do some research on. Instead, you guys are giving me great ideas and I really appreciate that. Um, if you want to support the artist, be sure to listen to the music. If you want to support me, do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, etc. Uh, my Twitter handle is in the description. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, bye. See you guys in the next review. Have a good one.